Hi, I'm John from a &E Construction and today I'm going to be talking you through the process of hand tape and jointing using British Gypsum's Gyprock products. So, let's talk through the materials first of all. First up we have Gyprock Joint Filler. This is a gypsum based setting material which is used for bolt filling and secondary filling. Then we have Gyprock Easy Fill 6D. This is a combined setting and air drying product which can be used for bulk filling and fire and finishing. If you're buying these products in bulk, please make sure you use the oldest first. The way you can find that out is by looking simply at the date which is written here on the side of the bag and that will tell you when this needs to be used by. So now the tapes. Here we have our corner tape. So within this are two pieces of corrosion resistant metal which help form our external corners. Next up is the paper tape. This is used to reinforce the joints in between plasterboards. So that's the materials covered. And now here we have a selection of tools which you may need to complete this job. Right, all that being said, let's get on, mix the material and start taping and jointing. Right, so I'm just gonna mix up some joint filler now, just for the pre-filling. It's only a small room, so I'm just gonna mix up a small amount and then we can start getting everything done. This is the consistency you're after. Obviously, you don't want it too thin, otherwise it's all gonna end on the floor, and you don't want it too thick, otherwise it's gonna be an absolute nightmare to use. The more you mix it, the more you'll get used to it. But now this is all mixed up, let's go in there and get it on the walls. Right, I've got my material mixed up, and now I'm gonna do some pre-filling. If you have a look up here along the ceiling line, you can see there's a bit of a gap. Anything above three millimeters needs to be pre-filled prior to taping and left for approximately one hour to firm up before you apply those tapes. So let's get this on. So I've got a nice neat internal corner. There's a few of the spots I'm gonna get filled now and then we can leave that for a little bit and get on with our bulk fill. Right, next up we're gonna attack the butt joints on our ceilings. So get your paper tape, stretch out to the length you need and then simply rip and that is your correct length you need to apply. What we're gonna do is apply a 50 millimeter band right the way down here to stick our tape to the plasterboard. When you're putting this on, make sure that you get even coverage so as not to get any air bubbles underneath the tape when you're applying it, as this may cause blistering. You'll notice with the tape that there's a fold down the middle of it. That is for our internal corners. So when you're applying this tape, make sure you place it with the fold facing up, like that, going upwards. Simply get your tape across the joint, like so, bed it in. Putting any material that you take out back into the tape. Then you need to apply a 200 millimetre band in total, so 100 mil either side of this tape. While you're doing the ceiling as well and getting all your joints covered, it's worth noting that all of your screw heads require the same amount of coats as the rest of the joints. So make sure while you're up here, you get those all filled as well. That's it. Now we move on to bulk filling our tapered edge joints. You may notice I'm using a trowel instead of a jointing knife, it's completely fine to do, it's just whatever you feel comfortable with using. So what I'm gonna do is just fill this joint out. Then 
then get a piece of tape that I cut earlier and remember to use it the right way around so the crease is going into the board and then you want to make sure that you're going in the centre you're completely covering the joint of the plasterboard and then run your trowel down making sure that the tape stays in the centre that's it, easy as that just apply a little bit more up here where the tapes cross over and that's it, that's how you do a tapered edge joint Right, now what we're going to do is the internal corner. So there are quite a few ways to apply this. Firstly, hawk and trowel. Secondly, a tape and a jointing knife. Thirdly, you can actually use a brush to apply the internal corners. Get some new material onto the brush and literally brush it in like that and apply your tape over the top. But I'm going to use a trowel. So it's the same process as all the other joints. You need to make sure that you have 50 mil on either side of the internal corner. You can apply it like this. Or like this. Just making sure that you've got enough on there to cover the tape or for the tape to bed into. Once you've got your material on the wall, grab your tape and this is where that crease comes in handy. Simply fold it like this, run your fingers down to create that crease. And place it in the corner. Run your fingers down it to make sure it's pushed right in. Run down like this, just to form a nice straight internal corner. Just like that, the internal corner is done. Now we're gonna move on to an external corner. So, when you're doing a reveal or an external corner like this, it's quite often you're gonna have a bare edge of plasterboard. There's two ways over this. You can either prime this with a solution of jip prime, or you can just use a bit of water and a brush, and literally, wet the edge down and all this does is just removes or reduces the suction on the edge of the plasterboard because if you apply your material to this it will cause it to dry a lot quicker. Doing this technique helps mitigate that problem. Now that's wetted off, I'm going to apply some material. Again, 50 mil. Get your bead, which has been pre-cut, into the corner, and then you want to give it a little pinch and squeeze the material. Make sure it's bedded in nicely. Might also pay you just to have a jointy knife handy because it is a little bit easier sometimes to get this in rather than your trowel. very gently clean off your edge so as not to damage the bead. The bulk fill stage is complete, the beads are all on, now we need to leave this to dry until we're ready for the next stage. Right so all the tapes are on, it's all been bulk filled, all I'm going to do now is just go over, give any high spots a bit of a scrape off and then I'm going to get on with my first coat. Right, so I've mixed up my Easyfill 60 and I'm going to start off as always with the butt joints. What we're aiming for now on each coat is an additional 50mm on either side of the joint. So at this stage now we're looking for a 300mm coverage on the butt joint. So just simple, straight, same as before. So that's the first coat on, nice and neat as you can see. It doesn't matter if it's a little bit over 300, but as long as you've got a minimum of 300 mil coverage there, you're all good. 
So that's the bit joint done. I'm going to leave that now and I'll move on to my wall, get my internal corners done and around my window. Right, I'm all ready now to apply my final coat to my taping and jointing system. I've got my EasyFill 60. If you are going to use this product, make sure you check the back of the bag for the manufacturer's instructions and also check the date and make sure it's in date before you use it. I've got my selection of tools that I may need to complete the job, so I'm going to get it mixed up and get it on the walls. Right, the product is nicely mixed. Once all the lumps are gone, stop mixing straight away because over mixing may affect the setting times of this product. You're looking for a smooth and creamy consistency like this. You don't want it too wet, otherwise it will drop on the floor. You don't want it too thick, otherwise it'll be hard to squeeze onto your joints. So let's go and get it on. Right, so I'm ready now for my final coat. I've got my material mixed and I've come in and I've scraped any high areas that are on these joints. If there are any bits that need sanding down, just give them a light sand down first and then you can get ready to apply. So this is a tapered edge joint, so I'm looking for an overall width of coverage of 300 mil approximately. So let's get it on. So that's it, all done. Now I'm gonna move on to the rest of the room. All my coats are now completed and all that's left to do to finish this process is to give these a light sand down. Once all your joints are sanded, that is ready to receive paint, but there is one more step you should do before that. If you were going to wallpaper your dry lined area, you should use some drywall sealer and if it's going to be painted, we recommend using the drywall primer prior to receiving the paint. That is it, that is how you use British Gypsum's Jiprock Tape and Joint System. I'm John from Mainly Construction, thanks for watching.